So, first things first, if you support pedophiles, child grooming, or anything like that, I don't like you and I don't fuck with you. So, I would say exit the video, but if you support those type of people, I want you to stay for the video so that you can understand why you shouldn't support those type of people. So, I'm making this video because even though today is Wednesday, July 7th, 2021, on June, what is it? On June 6th, two days after I got jumped two times, my ex um, put on TikTok a video responding to a video that I made probably like two months ago now. I made about um the let me think how to put it so it wasn't about it wasn't about pedophiles all the way it was more directed towards the girls that don't know that they are being preyed upon by pedophiles who start acting like they the shit or start acting crazy because you know they getting dick from pedo pedophiles little do they know it's because he's stealing all of your energy away sexually. He does not give a fuck about you. It was a video basically trying to tell people about that, you know? So he had made a video, and I'm just now catching wind of the video or whatever because it had popped up on one of my family members' um, TikTok page um, for you page. So. These pedophiles be having these little ass girls, yes, little ass girls, hyped up because they get dick. Bitch, you getting dick from a pedophile. He can't get nobody else. You was no better than these other females, shorty. Come on now, speak facts. Let's talk about yourself. Let's talk about you had a seven, something with your cousin in a uh, what, hotel? Oh, okay. You fucking for money, 50, 60 year old man? Come on now. Shorty, come on, talk about yourself. Stop talking about other people. So yeah, so that's the video. Even though, to be honest, when I say what I gotta say, I don't really give a fuck to care and talk about it no more. But why did you feel like, so I'm speaking to him too, but y'all can listen. Why did you feel like a video that had nothing to do with you why did you feel like you had to respond to it and try to put my put me out there? First of all, I ain't never had sex for money. Never in my life have I had sex with somebody and got money for, for it. Have I ever thought about it? Now that's a different story. But I've never done it. I joke about it. Never have I ever had a, uh, a seven sum. Never have I ever even had a threesome at that. I never, like, at that. People take rumors and try to run with it. I'm talking about why pedophilia is a problem i'm talking about the effects of older people having sex with younger people i'm saying my debate about it because there's clearly a reason why it's wrong so in a video where i'm talking about why something like this is wrong you decide to bash me and then try to get clout for it on TikTok talking about some ex viral tag. Then get mad when I see it. How you mad? Because I saw it talking about some this from a while ago. Um, no, it's from a month ago. It says 6 6 2021. It's only 7 7 2021. So a month ago, you posted this and didn't even care to take it down. So me seeing it, you shouldn't be mad that I saw it. How is anybody mad? You you got to be a guiltier type of person if you're mad because somebody is against pedophilia. If you don't support saving the children, if you don't support people not getting groomed into thinking that someone likes them, because obviously those type of relationships are wrong. That older person is literally manipulating the younger person into having sex with them by making them think that they love them or that they can protect them or they do this or do that. No, they are only trying to have sex with that younger person. And obviously it's because they can't do it with somebody their own age or older. So 
if someone has a problem with somebody else who's speaking out against pedophilia, in my mind, I feel like you are a pedophile. Or you have pedophiles around you who you don't think they do anything wrong. Anybody who is against somebody standing up for something that is wrong, you are a guilty person, in my opinion. Because I'll never, a girl come up, men shouldn't rape women. And I'll be like, bitch, shut the fuck up. What you mean? They can rape women. What are you talking about? How stupid does that sound? If you telling me that I'm wrong because I'm going against pedophilia, that means that you think pedophilia is okay. And if you think that pedophilia is okay, that means you must be a pedophile. You must be a pedophile. Because why would you think that it's okay? You want, you want somebody that's 10 times older than your kid? Your kid's 14? You want somebody that's 24 to come fucking on your kid? He love her. That 24-year-old loves my 14-year-old daughter. I'm going to go give my daughter away for marriage. Because he loves her. He's going to treat her right for the rest of his life. Their life. No, that is not how it go. They are manipulating the younger person. And the person doesn't even have to be such a little kid. Like, they don't even have to be a little kid. You can be 17 and still get manipulated by someone older than you. Because you are looking for love. Love that you probably didn't get as a child. The type of love you wanted. And now this older person is seeing that in you. And know that they can manipulate their way into your life to control you. Because they're going to make you think that they love you. They're going to make that you think that you have a security within them. When you don't. The minute you fuck up, they're going to push you to the side. I just want to, like, I just want to know the people who don't support people going against pedophilia. Are you a pedophile? Is your family members a pedophile? Or is it that you never been through it that you don't know that it's clearly manipulation? I know from personal experience. Men are always trying to manipulate younger women. Well, not even women. They're not even women yet. That's the problem. They're kids. They're kids. Kids that can't even go to a doctor, doctor's appointment by themselves. Kids that can't even get a job yet. Kids that can't even get an ID. They can't do shit on their own. They still need their parents to do every fucking thing that they need to do. So why is your grown ass trying to fuck on a kid? That is pedophilia. And if you don't believe that, you there's something wrong with you now get to the ages of 17 18 teenagers okay they think they grown they can do you can't really tell them what to do too much but when it comes to anything less than in my opinion anything less than 15 anything less than 16 because 16 is when you really can get a job you can finally buy your own motherfucking panties so yeah go do your thing but anything less than that, and you are clearly manipulating people. So I just want to know, why did my ex think that it was okay for him to make this video? Why? And I wasn't even talking about him, even though I guess if he is a pedophile and want to be a pedophile and shit like that, he think it's okay. Then I didn't know that. I wouldn't have dated him if I would have knew that. I kind of figured he wasn't, because when we talked about it, why he want to say something about me on, on social media when we in real life and we was talking about it before we knew it was a bigger thing than now that we know, you was against it. You were saying, oh, I didn't told them. I told him that he shouldn't be doing it, but I can't stop him from doing what he going to do. You said that you was against it. So why is you trying to bash me online? Now, if I was bashing you online, then yeah, do your shit and respond. But I wasn't even talking about you. To be honest, I was I was I kind of started talking about other motherfuckers, but to be honest, it was general. It was in general because that's my motherfucking opinion. I do not support pedophiles. I do not support anything that is like child grooming. I don't support that because I know how that shit go. They will make you feel comfortable. They will make you feel like they love you, but they only want to fuck you. They only want to have sex sex with you because they have sexual issues. That's sexual sin. That's just a reason why sex is a sin. Like, that shit just pissed me off. 
not really t to be honest it's just it's such a big thing and i hate that people study try to go against it and try to say that it's okay that shit is not okay and i don't fuck with anybody that think it's okay i really don't so if you think grooming children into fucking you is okay or for anybody i don't fuck with you i can't that goes against my human morals if i ever have a kid and they tell me that somebody doing some shit like that to them, I'm going to fuck that person up. Because I know what the fuck they doing. That's why I wouldn't even let nobody around my kid like that. Not even family members. Because that's, that'd be the main people doing the shit. That shit is not okay. Motherfuckers fight about... Motherfuckers go through hell. Motherfuckers is in depression. Motherfuckers kill themselves because of shit like that. Because somebody fucking raped them as a kid. Molested them as a whole kid. An adult and nobody did anything to fucking help them. All the fucking do adults around and nobody fucking helped them. What type of bullshit is that? And for you or anybody to to try to bash somebody who's standing up for shit like that is just fucking sick. It's lame as fuck. It's sick. But yeah, that's my rant for the fucking day. Save the fucking children. I am not supportive of pedophiles and I have very strong opinions about this and I have very strict guidelines because I think of it as if it was my kid I would never let my kid get molested I would never not believe my kid if my kid told me somebody was doing that to them if my kid told me that somebody touched them the wrong way Gave them a weird hug. They don't feel comfortable around them. I would not let my kid be around that person. That person can no longer be around my kid. Because personally, I know how that go. But yeah, that shit pissed me off. And then trying to trying to get clout off me on, on, on fucking social media. Pick You could have picked any other fucking video. You could have picked any other fucking video. And said some shit if you really wanted to say some shit to me. And then you was just in my inbox this week. So for you to post that, first of all, and I saw you, by the way, when my sister was orchestrating motherfuckers to try to jump me, I saw you with her. So I'm not going to act oblivious to that. You was with her. I saw you. You and the other one. I saw y'all. I saw y'all. How you in my and you in my inbox acting cool like you don't know that you got this video up that I'm eventually gonna see. You could at least took it down. If you ain't want me to see it, if you ain't want me to respond, you should have took it down. I don't fuck with people who are pedophiles, child molesters, groomers. If you've ever raped anybody, I don't fuck with you if you support anybody like that. So if you got friends that do that shit, I don't. I, I'm not gonna be friends with you. I can't be friends with anybody whose morals are inhuman like that shit is not okay so anybody on my facebook if you are a child molester or if you are okay with that please unadd me and if you're not at it please stop coming to my page and by the way x like i hope you know you just really put yourself out there because you're not following me on instagram for you to screen record my video like that you're not even following you're not even friends with me on facebook you're not friends with me on TikTok. I don't I don't think we are. So what the fuck you lurking for? I'm not even talking about you. Motherfuckers that I'm talking about probably know not to say shit. Because like I said, why this is a problem. It's, re it's really a problem. Motherfuckers in jail for that kind of shit right now. And I support I support people being in jail for that. So, yeah, I just feel like that was that I just feel like that was just really stupid for you to make that video. But you know, people have freedom and shit. They can do whatever they want to do. Until somebody, you know, speaks up against it. But yeah, like I said, save the children. I I'm not I just want to put that out there so that nobody get the wrong idea of me because I didn't know all of the people that I was around was fucking okay with predators child predators I am not okay with that I did not fucking know that those were the type of people I was around and I don't ever want anybody in the future or now or anything to think that I am a person that is okay with that because I'm not 
I don't want anybody to think that they could be friends with me if they are okay with that. So don't come by me. We are not going to be friends. Even though I don't want, I don't, I don't want friends anyway. To be honest, people people have so many skeletons in their closet. Like, mm -mm. nah, I don't need you fucking with my spirits because I I done did a, a lot of healing, a lot of healing from shit kind of like this. But if you are against pedophilia, if you are against rape, molestation, everything along the lines of that, any type of abuse like that, please make it known so that people don't think that it's okay to continue to do this. This is a very big problem. This is a very big problem in the world. And I'm not okay with it. But, yeah. I was gonna make a different type of video today. I don't even, like, but that just popped up in my life. I don't even be worried about motherfuckers. I don't even be, I'm not even in their presence no more. I haven't been for a while. But motherfuckers be trying to pick with me and shit. Like how, it's like as soon as the truth comes out, as soon as some truth is in the air, like so many people try to go against you. Like this world like the bible says that like as soon as you become of christ as soon as you get on the right path and on the right track the human world is going to be against you because it's a fucking sinful place full of sin everybody is child molesters what the fuck i'll be damned if my kids ever have to go through some shit like that because this world want to make it okay for people to be child molesters for people to rape people for people to groom people Life is not about sex. Until it comes to re reproduction and keeping the population, you know. But other than that, it's not about sex. The movement of Save the Children, I hope nobody let, is going to let that die down. Because obviously it's, it's something that needs conti to continually be addressed. Every issue in the world needs to continually be addressed in order for it to, us to keep it in lock, like, and keep it, everything in check. If you let anything die down and slide, that's when the other people that's, that was the ones we was fighting against, they're going to start thinking that they can do what they was doing again because nobody's talking about it anymore. Keep talking about it. 